I'm uh, Evgeny Petrachenko, research assistant uh, professor at uh, uh, University of Victoria Genome BC Proteomics Center. My name is Nick Brody and I'm a graduate student at the University of Victoria. We're doing structural proteomics to study some uh, difficult questions that have been hard to tackle with previous structural proteomics techniques like X-ray crystallography, NMR, etc. We're using mass spec and mostly we're looking at uh, misfolded proteins essentially, so especially things involved in neurodegenerative diseases like uh, Parkinson's disease. We've been using the Orbitribe Fusion Lumos to analyze proteins in top-down HDX. The high resolution is good for sorting out our HDX vector and making sure that we get the correct assignment and uh, make sure that we have our HDX placed correctly and getting a lot of uh, different fragment ions. The more fragments we can get, the more protein we can cover, and the more specific we can be in our analysis. UPD is uh, one, of the, one of the kind of uh, fragmentation technique which was recently developed. It provides fragmentation uh, along the uh, uh, main chain of a protein and those fragments which are produced um, they can be useful and they can be complementary to other fragmentation technique like uh, ETD or ECD. I think it's excellent addition from technology point of view. It's very important that it's commercially available. Mass spectrometer which already enabled, which already installed UPD source and uh, Terma did a very good job on user interface. It's very easy to use. Basically, you just select a different mode of fragmentation and you have this capability at, at your fingertips. UVPD can specifically allow us to get into regions of the protein that may have been missing beforehand in top-down experiments. So if you were missing perhaps the middle of your protein, uh, this may allow you to get there. If you had disulfide bonds, perhaps you may have an easier time fragmenting than that with UVPD, these kinds of things. But a specific aspect of our research that we were looking at before was the protein synuclein, which has a very um, uh, negatively charged C-terminus. Uh, difficult to fragment, doesn't produce very many fragments, but with UVPD we were able to see some and we may be able to place some of our HDX protection that we're seeing for that protein uh, in that C-terminus. The mass spec revolution is still going. It's, uh more and more sensitive, more and more uh, robust, and actually uh, more and more uh, innovations still come. You, we don't know what to expect in, in the nearest future, but stuff like this addition of uh, UPD, for, it's a good example that it's a new modality for, for what we can do with it.